husbands. I have a blemish and I don't really get blemishes anymore, so that's weird. <laughs> Guys, I'm in a rut lately. We'll talk about it later. Maybe I'm just like overthinking it a little. Maybe y'all can tell me and shed a little insight for me. Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring this part of today's vlog. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot commit to a full-size perfume, and the idea of being able to try it for 30 days before I purchase sounds literally perfect for somebody like me. Scentbird is a subscription fragrance service, and they have 600 brands to choose from at all different price points. And the best thing about it is it's only $16 a month, and you can skip months without being penalized. So when your Scentbird arrives, you're gonna get a card that looks like this. It says your fragrance of the month is Versace bright crystal I picked this one because I've been wanting to try a Versace perfume for so long but I just didn't want to commit to that price point and spend the money quite yet unless I knew it's exactly what I wanted so it comes in a really pretty bag just like this it's a drawstring velvet bag it's so cute it's so convenient for traveling and all you do is twist it up and you're ready to spray Oh my gosh, y'all. This Versace perfume smells so good. I'm so excited that I get to try it out with Scentbird. I did want to mention too, if you just gently lift your fragrance out, you can see the generous amount of fragrance that you get with each Scentbird perfume. This is plenty enough perfume for me to try it out see if I like it. Based off of your scent choices, they could give you some other scents to try in the same niche. I've already added two of the niche scents, which is the Sanctuary Red Panda. I love the cause with that scent, and then the Pamela Rowland scent as well. So if Scentbird is something that you think you would wanna try, go ahead and use my link below in the description bar for 30% off. That is just $11 for your first month. Y'all, teething is getting the best of him. It's been the absolute worst. He's screaming his booty off. <laughs> Mama, cool dude. Hi. Hi. That's my big five-month-old boy. Okay, we nailed it. Now let's get some with your head, okay? Go put your cookie hat on. Cookie hat. Nashi. Nashi. Hi, Mama. You're so cute. Hi, Mama. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't see you now. Mama boy, I love you. Hey, are we gonna take your hat to the river? <gasps> and you look like the coolest boy, huh? You look like the coolest boy. Oh my goodness, mommy has so many pictures of her boy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so funny. I'll put your pillow back. Okay, let's put your pillow back. Pillow, blanket, yeah. And we're five months old. Hi, Bubba, big boy. Are you the biggest boy ever? Mommy's so proud of you. I love you. I love you, my little blessing. Hi. Hi, Bub. Hi. 
is playtime. It is playtime. So it is playtime. I try to like really play, 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 play with Nash in between his naps just so his naps are good. Even though right now his naps, no matter what I do, just really aren't the best. Um, or his nighttime sleep. We are officially five months old now. Um, I don't think it's like a sleep regression or anything. I think it's more his teeth. He has two bottom teeth that are like, one of them's fully cut through, but the other one is like making its way through. And I just think he's going through it. <laughs> going through some changes right now, but um, yeah. Yeah. I love you. That teether that you just saw me holding, he absolutely loves. Let me show you. He loves it so much. I shared it on my Instagram and linked it. Um, I'll link it down below for y'all because he's... <laughs> he's kind of obsessed with it. And last night, I had like a little bit of a mommy win because I... <laughs> I put it in his crib because with his little space suit that he wears, he can't pick up his passy. Like, it's hard for him to pick up his passy. This thing is much bigger, and he literally, like, would feel around and, like, grab it and, like, put it in his mouth. And it was just so much better, so much easier. You could just chew it right to sleep, huh? You could just chew it right to sleep. <laughs> Here, buddy. So, I actually have a lot of work to do today, like, a lot of work to do, and just finding the balance between like full-time mom and then like working is just like it's a struggle like I have to take a deep breath take a step back and like remind myself like I am Nash's mommy first and I'll figure out a way to get everything else done and sometimes that does mean like staying up super late um it's just like it's hard to balance so another thing is this week i am going to an influence is it this week it's like a little influencer get together actually it might be next week okay it's july 29th so it's next week i'm thinking about vlogging there so i got invited to my first like influencer event and i'm really excited because it's like in my town <laughs> Um, so I think I'm going to vlog whenever I go. I've never gone before, but I'm bringing my friend Lane who has like a really good following on TikTok. So I thought that she might enjoy going with me. And then I'm also bringing my sister-in-law Casey because, I do. I do. because she, I just talked her into starting her own Instagram for like fashion and stuff. And I'll put her Instagram down below. Um, she's so good at like clothing and fashion and cute casual stuff really casual like realistic stuff that people will actually wear that's why i love her style so much and the second reason that i love her style so much is that it's literally all from like tj maxx walmart amazon like all affordable i'm just beyond obsessed so i'll put her instagram down below so y'all can follow her on it i'm really proud of her um for actually taking the step and taking the initiative and making a style Instagram because it's something that she's passionate about and loves. She's a teacher full time. So I think, I think it's really good to have like that extra side thing that you like genuinely love. So I'm really excited for her. Are we excited for Aunt Casey? Yes, we are. We are excited for Aunt Casey, huh? You're still in your PJs. He's still in your PJs and it's 11.30, boy. Uh, he's five months old today. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, so I also wanted to talk to y'all really quick about kind of like the rut that I'm in right now. <sighs> I feel like, I don't know, there's so many changes happening like with Instagram right now and I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what direction that I'm like, I feel like I'm being pulled in two different directions and I feel like my engagement on YouTube just like hasn't been the best lately. So I'm trying to like amp that up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of feel like I'm in like a, I have like a bunch of content ideas, but 
for starters like balancing mom life and work life has been really difficult but aside from that i just want to like maximize my reach and being able to like connect with my audience as best as possible and i'm at the place where i'm like i don't know if that's youtube Whoop. i don't know if that's like youtube anymore you know um so i don't know i don't know what do you think what do you think youtube is a lot of work like it's a lot of work and they honestly don't really reward their creators very well um so i mean it's a lot of work it's the most work out of everything it's filming and editing youtube videos but i love it so i don't know okay we are We've been trying to stretch his wake windows to two hours, but he gets to be a very upset little guy. Um, it's been about an hour and 40 minutes and he's starting to like really fuss. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him in his room, probably read him a book or rock him, just try and like stretch him out just a little further and then put him down for a nap. So he has a really good nap. Can you read a book? Oh, let's read a book. Let's do Hop on Pop. Hop on Pop. Ooh, rhyming. Love that. Up, pup. Pup is up. Cup, pup. Pup in cup. Okay, mommy's gonna close your windows, okay? You sit like a big boy. That's what we're practicing. That's what we're gonna practice, sitting like a big boy, okay? Yeah. Mommy's gonna close your windows, getting ready for nap time. Getting ready for nap time. Hi! So I put him down, but I have been noticing lately. You gonna come in, pups? I have been noticing lately that he's noticing, like he knows that I'm walking out of the room and leaving. Whereas before, when he was like itty bitty, um, all he knew was that he wanted to sleep, no matter who was in the room or not. Um, but now he like turns his head and looks at the door and I can see on the monitor like as soon as he like wakes up or starts crying a little bit He immediately like turns and looks at the door. Let's see how he's doing <laughs> And he just stares at the door for a little bit Oh, 
No, he might have fell asleep. Yeah, he might be falling asleep. Let's see. I think he's asleep. Cool. Cool, cool. So obviously stretching those wake windows are better for him, like for his nap and falling asleep. But it's just, he's getting used to it still. It's still a little bit of a struggle. Okay, now while the little booger is sleeping, I need to work. It is time to edit. We're laying in mommy's bed. Just kind of being low key. Yeah, we're having a bad day, huh? I always rub all my makeup off from kissing and playing with them. You got a nap in here? Are you gonna nap in here? Are you gonna nap in here? Because you're screaming bloody murder in your room. You're screaming a lot. You can nap in here if you need to. Let's just relax. Can you just relax? Okay, update, he woke up in my room, upset, so I went in his room, rocked him, put him down, I'm in my room now, um, turning on the monitor. I like literally just walked in here from putting him down and he was calm. Hopefully he will finish up his nap. I just, I don't know how to help him. Like I've, I put teething gel on him. The only one he can use is the Dr. Talbot's teething gel because he's not six months yet. So he can't have like baby or gel or anything. Um, we've done like cold washcloths. Um, I've gotten a lot of like suggestions on my Instagram and I feel like I've tried them all. He's just... Okay, he's okay now. I guess it's teething, y'all. Oh my God, I cannot with my nose. I had makeup on it and I'm sunburnt underneath. So it looks a little odd. Um, Matt just texted me and asked me if I could marinate some chicken breast. Chicken breast is so gross. Mama needs her CBD. I've been taking CBD for a while now called Equilibria and I ended up loving it. I microdose it twice a day. These are huge. Oh, look at the chicken breasts. So I know I've talked before a little bit about getting help with Nash. It's not that I need help with Nash. I just need. Oh my god. I think he's awake. I just need like certain days, like one, two days during the week where I could like work um, and not have days like this where he's I'm not getting one single thing done um, yeah I think he's awake What is it? You don't feel good? Oh, that didn't sound like it tasted good at all. What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry you don't feel good. Okay, so I have these little Dr. Brown silicone teether things. I don't want to take it from him. I don't want him to freak out, but 
Um, basically, you can put like frozen breast milk in it, frozen formula. I literally am so desperate right now and just got these in the mail that I put a ice cube in it and he's just gnawing on it and I'm thinking he likes it. Let's turn on some lights. Whoa, let's not. So since I have my temps on, there's not a lot of things that I can eat. So my sweet precious husband went to the grocery store for me and he got me some soup. That is what I'm gonna be having for dinner. Matt is gonna be eating the grilled chicken and then I have some sweet potato that I made him. And I don't know, I'll probably ask him if he wants me to make him. One more side. We might do a little bit of prunes tonight with Nash. Yeah. Um, I was talking on my Instagram how I really did not want to do like purees or oatmeal because I really want to do baby led weaning. But I don't know if it's teething. I've heard of teething causing diarrhea, but not the opposite problem, but now she's having quite the opposite problem. I don't know why, like literally nothing has changed. I haven't changed his food in months, like schedule hasn't changed, nothing has changed. Um, so we've just been getting giving him a little bit of organic prune baby food. Um, and it's it's helping him a lot, like it's softening it up and helping him be a little bit more regular. So, um, whenever I start to see that he's struggling again, or struggling at all, then I will just do just a little bit for him um, after his bottle. So he'll have a bottle, like now, around dinner time, and then um, I'll give him a, just a little bit of prunes, and yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, it did good. I love you. I love you. I do love you. <laughs> okay, I am having some chicken and rice soup. We have Nashi's little prunes. We're gonna put him in his little high chair and we're gonna have dinner as a family. Now that daddy's home. Daddy's gonna have chicken from the grill. Yeah, are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Huh? Let's eat. Let's eat. 